Hello, everybody, and welcome back to GV Talk Sports. I'm Brock Elsesser, and I'm here with... Jonathan Rizzo. Ryan McKnight. Mr. Dutt. Katie Norris at the Porn. Mr. Horton. Woo, woo, woo. Here we are. Uh, Happy Friday, everybody. Yes, thank God it's Friday. Well, yeah. there was uh, one little piece of exciting information that kind of went by the wayside already. The Buffalo Bills were close to trading for Antonio Brown. No, I wouldn't even say they're close. <laughs> Yeah, it was all the buzz last night, though. I know, but think about their roster. Who could they trade? Uh, draft picks. Yeah, yeah like they, 17 they got, of them. Yeah, <laughs> they got a lot of draft picks. I told my dad I figured it would be Tredavious White or one of the other cornerbacks and a third rounder. Yeah, it'd have to be. Really? Yeah, that's what I thought it was going to be. Well, then Tredavious, it, he was like a number one for us, wasn't he? I believe mm-hmm. so. One or two. One or two. Yeah. Well, they. Uh, did he? Did he perform? Yeah. He's Who's okay. That? Travis Davis White? Oh, Travis yeah, White. I thought he was pretty good, right? Good. Yeah. Should have been uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year. So no, he sure. probably won't hang around very long. Uh, cornerbacks tend to not do that for the Bills. They come and they're great and they leave. They kind of leave. And they usually go to New England. Yeah, yeah they do. Usually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we become the farm team for New England. Well, the, there was a couple of them end up in New Orleans. And then occasionally uh, yeah. uh, they go to New England and they leave New England in a year and then they end up in Tennessee. Right. Um, but uh, the Bills general manager did say we inquired about Antonio Brown on Tuesday and kept talks open with the Steelers. We had positive discussions, but ultimately did not make sense for either side. As great a player as Antonio Brown is, we have moved on and our focus is on free agency. So I'm just excited the Bills actually talked to someone who was good and were interested right. in bringing yeah. someone good to the Buffalo Bills. Okay, yeah, is that, where, is that where we're at, though? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's exactly like, where we're at. We're hanging out with cool people, so now we're cool. Exactly. That's as close uh, as we've got. That's uh, as close as we'll get. Well, you don't want them, so you're probably, you're probably happy you're not getting them, actually. Well, maybe. Uh, you never know. You never know what were the circumstances that caused him to, to do what he did. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. He, he might be a horrible guy. I have no idea. But who am I to say? He's been acting like one. Well, lately. Yeah, but he also cannot be guarded by anyone. He is always open. So do you take the good, take the bad? Take them both, and there you have. Wow, that, that was good. Facts of life. Right. Take the good, take the bad. So what I want to know is, how does a trade talk, like, when they say, oh, we're having positive discussions, what does that even mean? Like, that is means that, we is didn't that hang up as fourth offers, or are they just, like, on the phone, so how was your day? And then they're like... <laughs> Uh, I think I'm it's doing pretty good. Yeah, I think it's I you? call you and you don't hang up. That's a positive so, discussion. Okay. Can I? I'll, I'll get personal here for a minute. Oh boy, this could get rich. It's never good. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of these times where I, if I had a career in professional sports, this would be one of the things that I would think would be cool. Like you say, you're just sitting in the front office or sitting on. Hey, let's call and see if they're interested in getting rid of Antonio Brown. How cool would that be? Like to just call. Call up the Pittsburgh front office, right? Right. Be that guy have their number. Call them up and go, "Yo, what are you thinking?" Well, it goes back to one of my favorite movies. The critics destroyed it, but I love Draft Day. Yeah, Draft Day is a great yeah, movie cool. to me. I just okay. love watching it because I love the whole call them up. Nope, we're not taking that offer, and then they shut it off, and then they call them back. And I mean, that fun. part of the front office would be amazing to be a part of. Right. Yeah. The salary cap would blow my mind. Trying to squeeze everybody in under, and you got to you got to pay your quarterback, you got to pay your wide receivers, and you got to hope that the backup linebacker is okay taking the league minimum. Yeah, you know that kind of stuff would be rough. Yeah, but be interesting. Fun. Be fun. Interesting. I did hear a statistic. Uh, you guys can uh, laugh at my prediction. My <laughs> final thought from back in December: uh, the Buffalo Sabers won ten in a row and were number one in the league. Uh, during that 10-game winning streak back in that November market. and early December. I don't even remember. They've <laughs> only won 13 games since. Yeah, <laughs> they won 10 in a row, and they've only won 13 games since. And they're now like 11 games out of a playoff, or 11 points out of a playoff spot. Yeah. I mean, they already have more points than they did last year, whip the ding, but yeah, pretty rough. Pretty rough stretch. 2-7-1 and one in their last 10. They lost again last night. Yeah, they lost in a shootout last night. Yeah, it was at least I close and interesting. And for that part, the Sabres have at least been fun to watch. Well, we at least know like there's something there now. You know, for yes. a while we were like, do they even yeah. have a team? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did they bring the Amherst up and they're playing? Um, Jack, I mean, Jack Eichel's the real deal, though. Yeah. I mean, that guy can play. 
That was fun to watch Monday he, night. He is. He, for sure. I, I, it's funny. I, I was reading some comments that when your football team is best known for people jumping on flaming fold-up tables in the parking lot <laughs> before the game. Ouch. Uh, ouch. <laughs> No. Right. Oh. Is yeah, that what the Bills are best known for, though? Probably, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. The videos of the Bills Mafia? Everybody yeah. knows those, right? Yeah. Uh, Central. And what are they, uh, what is it, uh, the tailgating. Sorry, that's the, what I was yeah. thinking of, tailgating. They're just known for having the greatest tailgate ever. <laughs> My sister and her husband actually, like, they go to every Bills game. And they go up and they're like, it's so funny. And they're like, yeah, like, we always park next to these the same people and, like, they always have, like, ribs and a grill and I'm like it's a football game and you're tailgating like yeah. bring like frozen pizzas and cook them over a fire or something not like there's several people meals. That, that don't even go into the game oh there's there's quite a few yeah. who will not they yeah. don't go to the game they just go for the tailgate Man. Yeah. go bills yeah well, do they, they watch the game or they just hang out um I, there was one guy we, we did talk to, and I don't think he watches the game. I, I, he, a lot of folks I see listen to it on the radio. Yeah, yeah. He, and he wouldn't have understood anything he watched, the, the condition he was in when I walked past him. Just yeah. saying. Yeah. Hey, just because we have Duke fans here, North Carolina fans, fans does Zion play this no. tomorrow? No. Nope. Nope. Who do they play? You, you th is it for sure that he's out, or we don't know? North I'm Carolina. He may play. It says should. <coughs> so. so they play North Carolina. They play yeah. North Carolina. The only person I've been okay with saying that phrase is the announcer from the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> six with six from North Carolina. Uh, Duke, North Carolina. Yeah, I mean, that's – Carolina's playing well. This one says Zion should sit out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. How long has uh, Luke May been at North Carolina? He's like, is he going on, like, seven years? I, I think – well, he did his undergrad there, and then didn't he get his master's and doctorate there as well? So yes, and, and he got eight redshirted years. eight times. Yeah, and I feel like they just tell him to like get like the highest level of education you can, so like he can play basketball longer. He has been playing forever. It seems like yeah. it. Well, you only get four years of eligibility no matter what. Right, but you can get it four years in six now. <clears throat> You know, so maybe he missed a whole year. I don't know. It just seems I, like I he's there remember, forever. But he might have missed a set out a year. Somebody said he should run for governor. He should, like, never leave never the state of North Carolina and could <laughs> run for governor right now and probably win. Pro, a pro player? Just go play for the Hornets. Yeah. Just. A pro player? Maybe? No. Probably not. Luke probably May? not going to translate know. well to the pro. I don't know. He might play, but he might. I don't think he's going to be anything special. Right. He's kind of like a Mason Plumley kind of, you know, he's more talented than Mason Plumley, but Christian Leitner. You know, I don't think he's as talented as Christian yeah, Leitner was. Whoa. So, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Oh, because because he's a Duke guy. I yeah. see where you're going. Yeah, he was from Buffalo, wasn't he? Later, Christian Leitner, yeah. yeah, went to the Nichols yeah. School. Up in Buffalo. Yeah, Nichols. Um, speaking of, of Duke guys, though, in the NBA, that you didn't think were going to make it, Reddick threw up uh, 24 the other day yeah. for the Sixers. Still playing for the Sixers. Still, yeah, he's cause like he because he, he always could shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. He's always been able to shoot. Yeah. So when you have those other guys flying around doing all those other stuff, and then he can just stand out there and bomb. Yeah. I and think he. it'd be fair to say that he's uh, the second best shooter in the league right now. He's a good shooter. Yeah. Well, uh, in terms of this season, yeah, you oh, could, you could in stay in up general, there. But in, no, like, in general. In general, no. Clay Thompson's the second best shooter no. in the league. Who's the best shooter in the league? Curry. Okay, all right. I just wanted to make sure everybody one. agreed upon that it's one. Yeah. Kyle Korver, obviously. Kyle Korver is a shooter. <laughs> yeah, Kyle Corver, not anymore. I mean, he used to be, maybe, but not anymore. So, I don't know. Did you see the Victor announcement story? I yeah. did not watch the announcement this Okay, so uh, for those of you who Brock did the sports, we had him read a painful message about the L.A. Lakers being out of the playoffs. Oh, they, they made Island? you read that? <laughs> well, I'm not a Lakers fan yeah, to no. a certain extent. So, no, but, but I'm <laughs> hoping we don't say that one word today. I was going to try to go the whole day on the sports cast oh, here, we not saying... Should we just get the, out of the way and say he, three? Who, who should, he we who should, should not be named. We should. Okay. He who should not be named, I think, is what we should say. That's what we should I refer to Baltimore. as. Baltimore? <laughs> yes. He <laughs> <laughs> who should not be named. Just get out of the way on Tom three. One, Tom two, two, three. three. LeBron, LeBron James. James. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go the whole time without saying it. Although I was looking at the video where Kuzma pushed him to play defense. Yeah. Isn't that um, crazy? Yeah. Well, they lost to Denver. 
Denver's good though. <laughs> yeah, they also lost yeah. the Suns. Oh, they lost yeah. Phoenix is the one I was thinking about. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Phoenix. Is, yeah, this Phoenix yeah. is not yeah. good. Yeah, Denver's yeah. not bad. You're right. I'm yeah, sorry, but the, Phoenix the, was the one I was thinking of. They lost to Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix the, is bad. The Lakers Phoenix fell apart. Twelve games. Yeah. Halfway through the season, the Lakers fell apart with the whole trade deadline situation and all that. And ever since then, you're not seeing the effort from the players that you saw. And I feel like, a f like if they played like a few games ago, if they still had them a few games back. They will be able to make the playoffs if they played to their capabilities and their efforts. Oh, but now, they're not working as a team like they should what, be. Six and a half back with 17 to play? Yeah, some, yeah that's what they are. Brown was in playoff mode. Yeah, it's, apparently that's what he said. But he, obviously it's He is in playoff not, mode. He's just not 100% after his he, injury. He's in, uh, he's in nah, shutdown. If he, if he, if he, if he, re if he <laughs> really cared about winning, he would be playing defense, making an attempt to playing defense. For at least an attempt. If he really <laughs> cared about this season. Yeah, six and a half back. Um, well, now they're talking about reducing his minutes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because they're because well, signed be a four-year deal. W Walton says this is a four-year plan, but we were talking about correlation earlier. It's right? not a four-year plan for Walton. It's a one-year plan for Walton. Yeah, Walton could be He's in trouble. Gone. Yeah, um, I'm surprised they the haven't fired him yet. You know, Lonzo Ball, this whole collapse. Yeah. Does it correlate with the fact that Lonzo can't play? Oh yeah, definitely. No. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. look at their look that. at the percentages <laughs> of their wins with and without Lonzo Ball. So you're saying it's directly playing. related? No, but I'm saying it's oh boy, there's a correlation with Lonzo. I'm not <laughs> saying the entire thing is from Lonzo not playing. Okay, okay. But when Lonzo does play, it affects the the chemistry Definitely. of the team and okay. makes him play better as a whole. Because that's the type of player that Lonzo is. He makes his teammates better. LeBron James makes his teammate teammates better when he's not trying to trade them all. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, when he's. When he's, not, when he's totally, not trying to get rid of them. Not, when you're not trying to get rid of them, it makes you better. Hey, local sports, I, I feel like we should because we haven't talked any local sports. Uh, congratulations, uh, Wellsville boys. Won sectional the, title. Uh, B2 sectional title. Right. Uh, lost in the crossover, the B, B1, B2 game to right. Chris Odyssey, right? Yep. Congratulations. It was a close game. Ramey Allen. Yep. Nice job. Um, Yep. Belfast boys are headed to the Far West Regional. Yep. Congratulations Against to them. Uh, Panama, I think. That's awesome. That's yeah. their first time ever. Yep, first time ever. And, I mean, it's state quarterfinals. Yeah. It was the you first. Know, they, uh, they win that, cool. they're headed to the Final Four. First uh, <laughs> sectional, well, title for the boys since, what, 1940? Yep. Yeah, 80 years or so. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. World War II is going on. Man. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, pretty no crazy. Thing. Hey, wow, that yeah, is. Wow, that's pretty wow. crazy. I would almost be like being a Red Sox fan back in the day. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did I say that out loud? I didn't mean to. <laughs> well, what's amazing to well, me I is... I mean, it's been pretty good in the modern day. True, true. Pretty the pretty modern good. day. The modern day Red Sox are good. What's yes. amazing to me, though, is oh, I thought about that. And, like, did they have a sectional title in 1940? I mean, was that a thing? Yeah. I, yeah. Obviously. Clearly it was. When was Hoosiers filmed? <clears throat> That wasn't in the 40s. That no, that's 51, I think. 50s, yeah. 50s for yeah, Hoosiers. Yeah, maybe 51, 57. Just get Jimmy the ball. Let him shoot. <laughs> Run the pick a fence. Don't get caught watching the paint dry. Yeah. <laughs> we should we should re revisit that sometime. The fa uh, favorite sports movies. We yeah. Do it today. There is a there's an important game tonight, right, Kennedy? Yeah, there is. What's going on tonight? Seniors are going to beat the faculty in the senior versus faculty game. That would be the first time. In the last, well, they won two I years think they ago. Won two years ago, right? So out of the eight years, the so seniors have won once. First wow. time in the last two years. <laughs> first time in the last two years. Though, the drought of sorts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quite a dry spell. That, it's the first the time in the last two games that they're taking right. right. Seriously. Right before that, it was six straight for the faculty. So. You know the game. The game is different. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the original faculty games were always set up so the faculty would win. Whoever's keeping the scoreboard would like give them 100 points. Or yeah, something. how did that work, Johnny, <laughs> last year? Yeah, I, I gave this uh, four points for every three pointer and three points for every two pointer for the students only. And in timeouts, <laughs> the students got like 10 points added. Wow, okay. <laughs> I think the score we're playing, ended we're at like 160 now, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was something. It was something. It was like 160 something, 100. And then Brian something. Emister hit the flying, running bank three. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was crazy, yeah. <laughs> So, I remember that one. No, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Uh, I hope I was it gets I was uh, trash talked by how many seniors last night? It was pretty rough. Yeah. It was a it was a rough experience at the sports banquet last night. <laughs> Look over at my team and they got L's on their foreheads and they're like <laughs> slicing their necks because I'm going down today. It was pretty rough. Dunks on. It was pretty traumatic. <laughs> I'm just gonna start say. dropping the trays on them. And 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, is that a <laughs> <laughs> dropping the trays? Yes, it is. Dropping is it the trays? Oh, yeah. I tend to do that in lunch, but I don't know yeah. if that's... <laughs> VT was going to bring some donuts tonight. Brock, I'm I, like, I VT, why are you bringing you, donuts? I offered you up as an announcer Talk for to the Anna. game tonight, too. If you want to sit at the table yeah. and announce, I don't have Mrs. Scholes is uh, prepared for you to be an announcer tonight. All right, right. there you go. If you want to. <laughs> Got to show some energy, though. Yeah. Okay. Um, VT said he's bringing donuts. I said, VT, why are you bringing donuts? Because I got a dunk. Oh, man. Okay. It was a good one. It's VT ish. I wonder if I could steal that. No, I don't want to. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Championship week, college basketball. I mean, you got Duke, North Carolina's last game every year, ACC uh, regular season. It's right. always Duke, North Carolina, 9 o'clock on a Saturday, Saturday night, or maybe 6 o'clock on a Saturday night. Um, and then the tournaments start. Well, here's a question. Sports bucket list. I'll tell you right now, my, on my sports bucket list, is the ACC men's basketball tournament. I would love to sit in North Carolina for four days and just watch the ACC men's tournament. That'd be cool. What's yeah, a sporting event that you would really like to see? Uh, NCAA softball championships game. I don't know if anyone heard you say that. Could you say no. that again? Uh, NCAA softball championships. What, go oh. down and watch a game. They play those in different places every year? Um, Isn't it in Omaha? Is it in Omaha or for, is that just for? That's the baseball. Men's that might baseball, be baseball. I know Oklahoma that. is Oklahoma usually is. where it is. I would love to go down for like a couple days and just sit. Get your sunscreen on and get out there and watch watch them. So I, I, I think it probably would be fun. That'd be cool. I could watch it all day. But yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. See who the who the winner is. That'd yeah. be. That'd be cool. Brock, what about you? Uh, I could go with the obvious answer of the NBA Finals, but instead I'm going to say I'd love to go to the Olympics and watch the 4x100 uh, men's final. Oh, that would be that'd be a sweet. good one, yeah. actually. That oh, would be Brock, that is thoughtful. It would probably be ridiculous to watch in person. Yeah. It would. Oh, my TV gosh. Did, do no, I'm sure how fast yeah. they're going. Well, and, you know, and, and like to be like right next to the track and see people going by you, it, th yeah. then you appreciate it, right? When yeah. you see how fast they're how actually going. How wicked fast they really are. Cool. Uh, for me, it's easy. I don't even have to think about it. It's the World Cup final. Oh, oh yeah. there you go. Yeah? Uh, and it wouldn't matter who's in it? I would not care. I mean, it'd be nice if the U.S. was in it or if I could see Messi play or mm -hmm. yeah. Germany. Uh, no, not Ronaldo. I would not <laughs> want to see We're Portugal. Not, John. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you have a ticket, you'd sell it if I, Portugal was in the final? No. <laughs> the fact that you would even think about it is somewhat disturbing, but that's okay. I, I, would, I actually would have to think about it. Just grit your teeth and get through yeah. it. But maybe it would well, you could cheer against him. I could, yeah. And I don't know. There's a World Cup final. It's going to be in the United States in uh, 10 years or something, seven years. So that maybe would be I'll, amazing to see. That's a true statement. I'll probably have to save yeah, up like for about 10 years to get a ticket for it. But, um, 2022. 2026, right? yeah. yeah. 2026. Oh. That would be amazing to see a World Cup final. Mm. I think it's going to be in New York City, isn't it? The, it's all over the possibly. country. Yeah, but the final. Uh, but the final, final, I don't know. I think it might be in MetLife Stadium. I'm not sure. Wow. Um, I'd either... Red Sox and World Series, obviously, or it would have to specifically be the Buffalo Bills and the Super Bowl. Ah. That's mine, too. Bills and Super Bowl? I've never been to a Super Bowl. Right, me neither. I'd like to go, and it'd be great to see, you know, the Bills. <coughs> How about, can we say, win the Super yeah. Bowl? Yeah. Oh, boy, win. wow. Ooh, I'd, that's I'd, a I'd stretch. also love to see a World Series You're never Series checking that seven, one off. <laughs> you know, with the Yanks playing. Yeah, that'd be cool. It'd be nice. Uh, a World Series Game 7, I think that's kind of electric. Oh, gosh. As well. You know, um, but Super Bowl. For Especially sure. if it's like yeah. a tiebreaker or something. Yeah. Like, this is like if you win, you're going through or whatever. Like. Yeah. Ugh. Any kind of playoff though has a just a right, crazy yeah. feel to it. Just. Mm -hmm. But like I can, everybody's I can almost shaking. Single pitch, everyone's just like just holding just, their breath uh, and like. Uh, right. Yeah. NCAA Final Four. Uh, That'd be amazing to see. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to throw another one out there because of you know my past lives and everything. I would. Uh, I would really like to go to the Kentucky Derby. I think it'd be oh, fun. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'd like to go to the Kentucky Derby. Interesting. Hmm. I think. I don't think I'd like that. I, I'm just throwing it out there. I just, I don't know. It, it might be interesting, the pageantry, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. I think uh, to go to the Olympics and watch gymnastics. Because I watch <laughs> college gymnastics sometimes, and I, I like, those girls are crazy, but the Olympics. For have, have you ever been to a gymnastics meet? I've never. 
I, I saw one in Florida when my brother was going to the University of Florida and we went down. There's stuff going on all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like all over the place. Yeah. It's kind of like that track too, right? Don't you yeah. have like people running over here? and Throwing you know, over there and jumping yeah. over there. And, <coughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and you have the music, right? You hear the music from the, the floor routine. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how they stay focused on the balance beam when the music's With going the on the floor right next to them, yeah. and the somebody's running down for the vault and you got the bars it, it was it was insane yeah. there was just so much going on um but it's cool oh, yeah fun. nobody mentioned uh stanley cup finals yeah. i i wouldn't mind seeing the the olympic finals yeah i mean the stanley cup finals i would go if the sabers were in it because i'm a sabers fan i yeah. just love watching that but um you know the greatest game i ever saw i told you guys was uh the stanley cup final between the u.s and canada that was just ridiculous but with the, probably, I think John's on something with the World Cup. Probably that's the most well attended. Uh, I think it's the um, biggest sporting event yeah. ever yeah, in world the history. Yeah. The World Cup final. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think uh, even this. I think this year was it was some st staggering amount of people. It was right. it, it was over a billion people tuned in at any given point. I right. think maybe. A billion. But to be wow. like to be a player, like the whole world is watching you, and you're yeah. representing your country. Like, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. It's wow. something that almost everybody talks about, even if they don't know anything about. Like yeah. even if they're not a soccer fan, you might tune in and watch it yeah. because it's yeah. just right. yeah. There's people who watch the World Cup that will never watch another soccer game. Yeah, yeah. it's right. just that yeah. big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't watch the MLS, mm -hmm. but I watch the World Cup. Yeah. Yeah, same. That's, that's true. Yeah. An another one that nobody mentioned is WrestleMania for the WWE. No, that's <laughs> not oh, man. Weird. I don't that's know why anybody uh, wouldn't think know. of that. That's not Turn back Brock. the clock about five years <laughs> oh. ago, maybe. <laughs> I, yeah. think, I didn't want to say it out loud, but I kind of think I would go with Brock, Brock, that's I mean, not if, I, I, if Brock, I found a way to get tickets easily, I would definitely go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Brock, that's not sports. Um, it's uh, sports entertainment. So. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> they still uh, risk themselves. Every time they go out to wrestle, there are real <laughs> WrestleMania team. injuries. It's a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Really <laughs> wasn't wasn't there a, a song I just heard recently that, that talking about back in the day when wrestling was real and TV was fake? You know, um, it's the other I way around. There Schell. you go. All right, wrestling was real and TV was fake or something. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay. Too funny. I get that. Huh. Uh, yesterday was the anniversary of uh, Michael Jordan uh, beating, uh, winning. North Carolina won, I think it was 80, what, 83? They won NCAA. I just saw it on ESPN, or on the website. They mm. beat uh, Patrick Ewan in Georgetown. Georgetown, What yeah. year was that? It had to be. It was probably 83. I was going to say 83. Because I think, I think 84, 84 was Villanova. Yep. No, 83 was uh, North Carolina State. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. Jimmy Valvano. Jimmy Valvano. So maybe this was 82. Might have been 82. Jordan's might have been 82. Yeah, 83 was uh, Jimmy Valvano. How many did Jordan win? One or two? Just one. Just one. But he won. Did he win National Player of the Year twice? Mm, I don't know. He left after his junior year, I think. I can't remember. I think it'd be kind of crazy to win National Player of the Year and not go on to the pros that year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So on this. But it was day a different in, age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On this day in 1971, <clears throat> uh, we were talking about WrestleMania, but uh, did you see that? I saw King Joe Kong Frazier, Bundy. Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali. Oh, mm. down, goes yeah. down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Does anybody? I, I mean, does anybody follow boxing anymore? Mm. I mean, no. it, boxing, not anymore. Like in no. the seventies, was a huge thing. Right. Yeah. You know, Mike Tyson. Like um, I heard about like tattoo. like I heard about like Mayweather and McGregor, but like other than that, like I don't really like know yeah, anything I mean, about boxing. boxing. It's was, not very was a popular. Thing. Mike Tyson, yeah. when he was young, was like ridiculous. Yeah. Like, good. like yeah. if he. Uh, Never got arrested. I think he might have had an undefeated Is he the one career. That bit off someone's ear. Yes. Okay. Yeah. There was what's that? He's the one that bit Holyfield's Holyfield's ear. ear. And you know, uh, Michael Spinks was big in those days. Michael Spinks. Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier. There was Mike two Tyson. Spinks brothers. There's Spinks brothers, right? Leon Mike, and Michael. Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Did they ever fight each other? I don't remember them ever fighting each other. Yeah, I don't either. And then there was marvelous Marvin Hagler. Yeah. And Sugar Ray Leonard. Not heavyweights, but they were. Yeah. Oh, boxing was a thing. I didn't, it was not huge. A thing anymore. Yeah. What happens? I'd say it's all a thing. It's. I mean, people, they're making not more as money many people know UFC. about it because it's pay per view. True. Yeah. True. Right. And the UFC is uh, well, probably more popular right now, and they make less money. That's right. There were, but there was there was some scandal stuff in there with uh, Don King and and that kind of stuff. Right. Fixing. Yeah. 
fixing boxing matches. Who would who would even figure that it was fixed? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I say it every week. <laughs> <laughs> so North Carolina only beat Duke because it was fixed. It, I mean, to set up the rematch, it kind of is fixed tonight. If they don't play Zion, then it's like <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna mop the floor with them, and it's not even gonna be any fun. I won't even have any fun watching this game. Yes, you will. Yeah, I will. Okay. But anyways, yeah, it will. won't be fair. Three minutes. I'll How fast. about uh, Bryce Harper no. telling everybody he's excited to bring a championship back to DC? DC. <laughs> I thought that's hilarious. <laughs> He just gets signs with the Phillies, and in his first interview, he says, "Looking forward to bringing a championship back to DC. I mean, Philadelphia." Yeah. Oh man. Wow. Whoops. Uh, Three hundred thirty-one hundred and uh, really <laughs> stick with him. It hadn't for. sunk in yet. He was well, it wasn't scripted. That's true. Uh, thank you, thank you. He wasn't reading a prepared statement. Yeah, I mean, it, I'll give him that. At least he was reading, making up his own speech or whatever. Yeah. I don't know what you call it. Is he? Uh, is he going to get um, Trout to come with him? No. Whoa. That was really quick. Whoa. <laughs> why not? Uh, why would Trout want to leave the Angels? So he could play with Bryce Harper. I think he Seriously, might. Seriously, think about Bryce Harper at, at the number three spot and Trout in the number four. You don't think one of them is getting great pitches to hit? I mean, possibly. But, I mean, you see it with Stanton and Judge, and they don't get great pitches to hit every time. So Not every time, but they get good pitches. Whoever's in that three spot gets good pitches. Um, Talking about Maris and Mantle. With, yeah, we got to roll through final thoughts. We're like – under two. Oh, all right. Who's uh, going first? <laughs> uh, I ain't really got nothing prepared right now. Somebody else go ahead. You know, I read an I'll article yesterday. I'll go with my final thought right. that the NFL uh, and uh, loosens its uh, stranglehold on its marijuana policy. In, I was just be, looking in, at that. And become it becomes it becomes a non thing in the NFL yeah. within the like next year. Ninety percent of uh, big NHL. They, they don't they care. Don't even, they the don't NHL care. doesn't even test for marijuana. No. There you go. That's what I was saying. All right. Oh, so I stole it from you. Yeah, were you looking over here? <laughs> um, my final thought is, even though my, my softball team is still Florida State, um, Alabama is 22-0 and 0 right now, and I think that's only going to last one more week. I don't think they're going to continue to be undefeated. It'd be unwise for them to be undefeated going into championships. But, I mean, it's still early. But, I don't know, 22-0, that's kind of scary. That's uh, that's impressive, 22 games in a row. About a minute left. Uh, Bonaventure, although they're 15-15, and 15, the men's Bonaventure team, mm -hmm. I think they make the semis of the A-10 tournament. Nice. They've been playing great. Uh, I'm going to have to say that North Carolina does beat Duke tonight, but I say Duke goes farther than them in uh, the <laughs> NCAA tournament. That's fair. I'll give you that. That's fair. I'm going to say it doesn't matter who goes farther <laughs> because Gonzaga is going to win the national title, so who cares what Duke and North Carolina do? And I'm going to also say – Wait, wait, wait. wait. John, who cares is kind of rough. I care. I care. Okay. And I'm also going to say Mike Trout does leave the Angels within the next three years, but he either goes to L.A. or New York. All right, take us home, Brock. Uh, well, for my final thought, I think that Oklahoma City Thunder is the second best team in the NBA. They were playing good nice. lately. So I'm going to stay there now. Right. Yeah. yeah, and so thanks for watching and tuning in to uh, GV Talk Sports. I'm Brock Elsester, and I'm here with... Jonathan Rizzo. Ryan McKnight. Mr. Dutt. Kane or Seth Ford. And Mr. Horton.